Brendan Henry here, and are you suffering with joint pain? Well, you're in the right place, because today we're diving into Cartilax. If you're new here, I'm Brendan Henry, the world's leading expert in peptide science. I've got a reputation for the most scientifically accurate Pinilon video and article on the entire internet, proven with over 100 scientific citations. So, Cartilax, it's a tripeptide with the sequence Alagluasp, which has been found in cartilage and bone, and it's freaking amazing. Now, if you're familiar with Sigamir, which is the Cytomax equivalent, you'll be thrilled to know that Cartilax is just as effective in human studies in treating osteoarthritis of the knee and the spine. So, there was a human trial that took place directly at the St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology, which is guided by Professor Covenson. And it included men and women with osteoarthritis of the knee or spine, and some women who had osteoporosis as well. And these patients were middle-aged to elderly, and they were given Cartilax for 30 to 45 days depending on the severity of their disease. And what I love about this study is that they didn't just rely on x-ray imaging, but they also did blood work analysis, and they gathered data on patients' complaints and their pain perception. Because restoring cartilage is cool, but ultimately reducing pain is what people care about, right? I mean, who cares if the cartilage regenerates 100% if you're still in pain and you can't move? So, very important. So, the study showed that Cartilax was able to decrease the pain and improve the joint mobility in 68% of the patients with osteoarthritis of the knee and 53% in the patients with spinal osteochondrosis. Now, there were some imaging changes too, which showed some small improvements to cartilage, and it also helped with osteoporosis symptoms in those women that I mentioned. And so regarding dosing, they did dose Cartilax higher than some other Covenson's peptides in this study. So they used two to three capsules two to three times a day, which is a pretty hefty dose. But how did it lead to these improvements? Well, our cartilage and extracellular matrix are made up of chondrocyte cells which produce collagen fibers, proteoglycans, and it regulates the water content throughout the extracellular matrix, which is what helps our joints absorb the shock. So we have chondroprogenitor cells, which is a, it's a type of mesenchymal stem cell, which these have the ability to transform into uh, basically any type of cell, but these ones in particular are able to transform into chondrocytes, which help restore our cartilage. And where cartilage meets bone, we have osteoblasts, and that's what helps to form the bone. And it's important to maintain the balance between the cartilage and the bone so that we can avoid conditions like osteoarthritis. And we also don't want the cartilage breakdown to exceed the rate of cartilage regeneration. And, but joint pain often stems from inflammation rather than a complete loss of the cartilage. So when degenerative processes begin, they cause an inflammatory response, which leads to two things. One is joint swelling, which can put pressure on the nerve root, and two are these inflammatory cytokines, which can have a direct sensitizing effect on the nerve, making them really sensitive to pain. Now, if you've watched my Pinilon video, you will recall that I had herniated two discs earlier this year, one at L4, L5, and L5, S1, and I was experiencing pain, but this pain was almost entirely nerve pain. And how do I know this? Because the pain went away after I dosed Pinilon. What happened was the nerves were just becoming overly sensitized to these inflammatory cytokines that I mentioned. And when those factors were inhibited by the gene transcription factors that Pinilon activated, the nerve was no longer sensitive, and the pain basically disappeared uh, almost immediately, which is really cool. So back to Cartilax. To tackle joint pain and degeneration, we need to reduce the nerve sensitivity to pain by reducing some of these inflammatory cytokines. And we also need to stimulate the chondroprogenitor cells to become chondrocytes in order to regenerate the cartilage and prevent further breakdown. So Cartilax does a really good job in these areas. Like I mentioned, in the human trials, it improved the osteoarthritis of the knee in the spine by promoting cartilage regeneration, and it reduced pain by reducing some of these inflammatory factors. So Cartilax was shown to upregulate CD98HC, which is a cell surface protein which promotes amino acid uptake, such as leucine, which is an amino acid which enhances mTOR activation. 
mTOR activation is involved in tissue repair. And this could be the mechanism by which cartilax was shown to increase IGF-1 levels. But there could be more to it than that. The important thing to note is that cartilax was the best covalent peptide tested for increasing IGF-1 levels. And this promotes tissue repair by increasing collagen and elastin through boosting uh, cell proliferation, migration, differentiation. And it also enhances blood vessel formation, which is really important because it's been shown that when oxygen availability to the discs is increased, their degeneration processes are reduced. And so the increased mTOR in IGF-1 can help also support musculoskeletal strength, which is important because a lot of cases with uh, in arthritis, you get weakening of just the entire musculoskeletal system. So you might be wondering, why not just take IGF-1 directly? And it's because IGF-1 on its own can suppress SIRT-6, otherwise known as sirtuin 6 It's a pathway that's crucial for longevity and stem cell regenerative ability, and cartilax doesn't suppress this. In fact, it stimulates both IGF-1 and SIRT-6 simultaneously, making it both unique and potent. In fact, SIRT-6 deficiency results in uh, reduced differentiation potential of those mesenchymal stem cells into bone and cartilage. And it's even been shown in mice that are deficient in SIRT-6, they have accelerated aging. And this might be one of the ways in which IGF-1 on its own can lead to aging. However, you don't need to worry about this with cartilax, like I mentioned, because it stimulates SIRT-6 and IGF-1 at the same time, which makes it very special and very potent. This is how these bioregulator peptides like cartilax are truly remarkable because they are so intelligent in their functions. I just love it. And so cartilax was shown to increase collagen type 1, which may be due to the above pathways or direct effect even. And it also helps to prevent the extracellular matrix degradation because it inhibits something called MMP9. And these MMPs, what they do is they break down collagen. So when you inhibit them, we can help to assure that the regeneration of cartilage exceeds the breakdown of cartilage, especially when we're also, at the same time, stimulating cartilage uh, regeneration factors, like collagen 1, for instance. And by the way, these same pathways make cartilax good for skin health as well. But we do have a full looks maxing course on unyieldingvigor.com if you're interested in that. And do you remember what I said about pinealon earlier? It would be a great combination with cartilax because... Pinealon can further reduce the inflammation and nerve pain through PPAR and irisin activation. But it can do more than just reduce nerve pain. Irisin was shown to reduce arthritis, inflammatory responses, and cartilage breakdown on imaging studies. And this is also why it's good to continue exercising, even if you're in pain or have arthritis. Because when you exercise, myokins, like irisin, are released, which help with your joint repair. And if you're completely sedentary, you just don't get these factors unless you're taking things like peptides that promote the gene transcriptions, of course. So you see, pinealon and cartilax would work synergistically and be really good to stack together. And this is the advanced type of synergistic combinational knowledge that I provide in my peptide mastery course, which most people really don't know how to use these peptides to get the best responses out of them, so it's worth checking out if you go to peptides.unyieldingvigor.com. And if you want to try cartilax, you can find it on VitaStream and use code CHANGEAGE10 for 10% off. I've personally spent thousands of dollars with this company. They're just, it's just a good place to get covens and peptides. And thanks for tuning in. This has been Brendan Henry, the world's leading expert in peptide science, giving you a detailed breakdown of cartilax and how it can help your joints. If you have found this overview helpful or interesting, then please share it with others and subscribe because there will be more great content coming soon.